It's Monday, August 26th. Today was my first day of classes, but for college. But today's theme, today's theme, topic, is about high school. The horrible years of high school. Mother of God. High school. Welcome back for week seven of FTM Transformers on YouTube. This week's topic is high school. God, it was a nightmare. Hence the title of the song, Nightmare by Shiny. Oh, we did not come up with a theme this week. So, I'm just going to say it's red because I'm wearing a red shirt. Oh look, another red shirt. Oh look, a red pen. Oh look, a red and blue water bottle that I got for free. Oh look, a free red frisbee that I got. That says Wildcat Event Sport. Oh look, a gobstopper I never ate. Oh look, fruit punch Neo Energy. Oh look, a think tank bracelet. Think tank is like where we study at and stuff. It lights up. This week's thing is about high school, and I'm so glad I was, I'm not in high school anymore, so glad. High school was really the time for me that I could be myself, start to anyway. Um, my freshman year I came out as gay. Um, I wasn't, I didn't look masculine at all because I had like long ass hair like long like down to my butt long so I didn't pass at all um and it was like really curly like Hispanic curly ish it was before I got it um chemically straightened and so I just told people I was gay I never said I'm a lesbian because it sounded weird so that's what I did my freshman year um I did like halfway through and people were pretty much okay with it except for some of my close friends um who were kind of like concerned like because mm -hmm. I was in Georgia at the time so in 10th grade we moved to um, California and I found out that my high school there oh had a GSA and I was like what is a GSA and I was so sorry I was like yes and so um second semester the beginning like the very beginning of second semester I came out to them as trans and also what really helped me thank God um I knew this other trans guy, and he had, like, just come out as the semester, as spring, fall semester was ending. And so when spring semester started in January, I came out. And it was, like, really supportive, because now there was two of us. There was another trans guy. And, um, like, we both wanted to be really close, but we were, like, completely opposite people. So it didn't really work out. And then he moved, and I moved, and we haven't talked since. Um... People, I didn't tell everyone in my um, my sophomore year. I told the GSA, obviously, and I told a couple of my closer friends who were in my other classes, and I told some of my teachers. And my teachers were cool with it, but um, like I wasn't ready to like come out fully, so um, they called me Michael in private. Like when I came to them, like after class to get help or something they'd call me Michael um, but not during class they'd call me uh, JP during class um, which was cool <coughs> oh yeah but also in 10th grade I um, I cut my hair shorter it was like uh, I was like here ish so I looked like a hippie kind of it was like an emo-ish hippie kind of haircut it was like long and shaggy and like the big twirl you know more severe than this kind of swirl now. It's, it's, it was like, and, um, but yeah. And so they were pretty accepting, and no one bugged me. Only a couple people harassed me on um, Day of Silence because I had, like, you know, the rainbow duct tape. And so they were like, oh, you called me like a faggot and stuff. Um, 
I also got my binder in 10th grade. Um, thanks to my friend Elizabeth. Love you. And um, so that helped me pass. Uh, and so people who I met, who I newly met, that I introduced myself as Michael, they like they were completely fine with it. Um, they didn't like suspect anything or anything. Um, 11th grade, I just came out with it pretty much. Um, I called myself Michael or JP. Um, and that was pretty good. I did not, I didn't get harassed at all. 11th grade, I was at a different school in California. Um, my teachers, though, it was, it was a big thing that happened with my parents and my teachers and not calling me Michael and calling me my birth name and it was horrible. It was a horrible experience for me. But it wasn't for about, that wasn't about um, like the students, that was my parents telling the teachers what they can and can't call me and what I can't and can call myself, which was ridiculous. Grade, I went to a charter school, so a different school. And I didn't tell anyone until about, until second semester again. And um, they weren't supportive of me, but they didn't, they accepted me, but they didn't support it. It sounds like what your parents would say, but like they were still my friends. They didn't treat me any differently. They acted the same around me. They called me JP. They didn't call me Michael. Um, <coughs> they were mostly like Christians and like part of church groups and stuff. So maybe that had to do with it. Um, but on the upside, they were all really super nice. Like I said, they didn't treat me any differently. They were they were just fine, but they didn't um, use male pronouns. They didn't. Um, call me Michael. They didn't. They didn't even try, really, and that made me really sad and made me really upset. But um, um, but yeah, they were fine with it. They just didn't like help me out or anything. Well, I never let how the basic majority of my high school, um, like religion or society or whatever, it was keep me from trying to transition in high school I just said you know I just said screw it and went for it you know because um, you know it's my life it's not their problem it's my problem and people who don't like it they can screw off you know they don't need to take the piss on anything yeah I was never bullied or anything by other students um, except like very Except, like, you know, once in a while, like, a comment or something. But I was never, like, consistently bullied for being trans. I was bullied in middle school and elementary school for being boyish and stuff like that. But never for physically, like, if I was out for being trans. Advice for trans kids in high school. Um, first off, tell your teachers. Tell your teachers, tell your principals, tell anyone who is of higher power. Um get them on their, your side, at least get them to know who you are and your needs um, so that hopefully, hopefully, they will stick up for you in your time of need if you do end up getting bullied and harassed by people and you're not the type of person to speak out about it and stick up for yourself. If you're going to do it, try not to be fickle about it because if you're fickle about it, people will pick on you for that. They'll be like, oh, you were just lying. You were a liar. You changed your mind. See, I told you you weren't that way. Da, 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 da. Oh, look at this guy. He's, the, you know, they're going to, they're going to, if you're in a high school like that, like the typical high, American high school, they're going to rag on you for everything, every chance they get. So don't let them get that chance. Um, be confident in who you are. Carry yourself how you think, just how you think you are. Don't try to be something you're not. Don't ever try to do that. If you're not that manly and you like try to be overly manly but you don't like any of those manly things they're gonna see that and they're gonna be like you're just pretending you're just a poser you're whatever or if you're like in the middle of it and you change your dis you change your mind and you um you decide not to transition in high school be consistent like if you if you think to yourself hey i'm gonna go if you think to yourself hey i'm gonna use the guy's bathroom that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the guy's restroom the guy's changing room, I'm gonna do that. Stick with it. Don't be like, oh, I'm scared because there's that one guy who doesn't like me who's gonna beat me up and I'm scared to go into. No, don't go into the girl's bathroom. If you're scared, go find a 
you know, a co-ed bathroom or something. Don't switch because they will catch you on that and they'll, it's just another thing for them to piss off about. Do not, do not surround yourself with people who make you feel bad about yourself. That is the worst situation ever. Hopefully, try and find a GSA club or an LGBTQ club at your high school because almost every high school will have one. And you know what? If they don't have one, make one because there it's not possible for there not to be a bisexual, gay, transgender, queer person in an entire high school unless you're like one of those charter schools where there's like 30 people like at my school I was at. Like, if you're at a traditional high school, there's no freaking way that there can't be another person like you or on the spectrum of LGBTQI, da 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 you know? So, if there isn't one, make one. Be, people will love you for that. Just be who you are. Just, just go with it. Don't try to be something you're not. Don't try to be stupid. Don't be stupid. Um, don't get peer pressured into doing manly things and being one of the guys and doing stupid shit, alright? If you don't, if you personally don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. You don't have to prove anything to anyone, alright? Thanks for watching week seven and um, stay tuned.